What's up, y'all? Welcome back. My name is Chippo, for those of y'all who don't know. And this is my music diary, where I talk about something old, something underground, and something new in pop culture. So, as you can see, this is like a special edition, and I'm in Phoenix. And it's December, and I'm here at the, my godmother's house enjoying the sunny weather. So let's get into the old music. And I hate saying old because it's like I'm saying y'all old. And y'all not old, but y'all not young either. Y'all not current. And that is whole, which I really love. And I really love because I love Courtney Love. They formed around 1989 in LA. And there is a lot of members. You know, I got a list right here of the members. So I'm just going to scroll them down here to give y'all y'all credit. Courtney Love and Eric Erlinson are pretty much the founding members and the members, they ride or die. They've been there every step of the way. Everybody else been coming through, coming through. So I don't really feel like saying y'all name. So the music that they make is, I mean, if I was to put it in a genre, I would have to say it's grunge, punk, and people of that term that I hate, alternative rock. I also have this melodic element. So not all the songs are really like, you know, grimy. And you know, when Courtney Love be singing, you know, it just really have that, you know, it tells a story. It really gives you something. Her voice is conveying emotion. Probably should have said that earlier. Yeah, she was uh, married to Kurt Cobain, the love of her life. And you know what else I gotta say? Fuck all y'all that be talking about some uh, Courtney Love uh, set up Kurt Cobain and die so she can have a music career. Let me tell y'all something about Courtney Love. Courtney Love is the fucking shit. She's an amazing songwriter. She's an amazing composer. And she's an amazing musician. Which is why a lot of these rock stars be falling in love with her ass. And I know she be giving them inspiration. I know she be helping them write a note or two and compose a song or two. Okay? I ain't gonna say no names. But y'all know who y'all is. Okay? Y'all know. The group only made four albums and three while they were in their prime. I'll just list my favorite in order, which is So In Skin, Live Through This, and Pretty On The Inside. I got a lot of favorite songs by them, so it is what it is. I'm just going to name Hit So Hard, Reasons To Be Beautiful, Sassy, Teenage Whore, Miss World, and Ask For It. So, shout out to Ho, Nick, to the underground artist. And there's another one of my favorites. Now this is really one of my favorite favorites. That is the Bulgarians. They're basically a Brazilian psychedelic band. And so it's really cute. So the members are Gino Almeida, Benki Ferraz, Rafael Vaz, and Inaye Ventrolo. Ooh, I'm sorry, look, I apologize. Okay, I need to get my Portuguese up, obviously. And that lead singer Gino looks like the Brazilian version of Gino Hendrix. Mm -hmm. He's fine, I know. He's real fine. He's supposed to be my husband, whatever, but I fucked it up, so whatever. You can't catch them all. Can't. Okay, I gotta move on. I gotta move on. The music is really mellow, chill. The lyrics are really positive. It's definitely still good music. You won't get depressed. Because a lot of psychedelic music, you get depressed and you get confused and you don't try to figure out who you is. And you just want to get fucked up. No, this is not that kind of psychedelic music. This is happy. But I think where they're from, they uh, have a lot of folk country music. Especially in their earlier albums, it has that influence. But I will say, that where they are now, you can definitely hear how their sound is formed and it, so it sounds amazing. Well, they only have three albums and they have other EPs that they put together. As Plonta Que Curo, Manuel, and La Gemme de Moji. My favorite songs by them are Unga Negra, Avolunchi, Hoje Aprendi Je Verdade, and Down. Oh, that's so beautiful. Okay, now for the current artist, I'm excited to talk about her. She's the shit. A lot of you may know her. And that's Jungle Pussy. Yeah, bitch. Okay, it's the jungle up in that pussy. It's a forest, a rainforest, bitch. Okay, I like her. She's from Brooklyn. And 
you know, she's just an unconventional rapper, and that's why I'm going to call it for right now. She doesn't just rap. She sings as well. She's a great singer, and I love her voice. It's really unique. It's deep. Hold up. I almost forgot this. She is a Scorpio. October 31st, baby. Halloween. Bewitched on that motherfucking ass. Gang, gang. Alright. Gang, 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 gang. She put a stinger on the music industry. That's for sure. She's putting his finger on y'all ass and she's making y'all, y'all gonna have to do something else. Cause she, she, she more than what meets the eye. I'm like, she way more than what meets the eye. Understand? She has wicked style, bizarre flow, crazy sick music. Like, she's eccentric. She's cultured, okay? Cause a lot of times people act like, especially when you black, that you have to be from the suburbs or something to be like, or be around a bunch of white people to have taste and have culture and all of that. And no baby, she is well versed in music, she's well versed in culture and history. She, 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 she knows what she's doing, she knows what she's talking about, she has a lot of references. And references are far beyond. So yeah, I found her through Wiki. I think she was opening for Wiki a few years back, and that's how I discovered her. Her music provides all types of styles and all types of social commentaries and stuff. And if you all into that feminist, that woman empowerment shit, you know, you'll like her. And in her music, I hear a lot of hot boy cash money influences in her stuff. I hear Cam when she rapping, I really hear Cameron. I don't know why. I wonder if she likes Killer Cam. And she also only has three, um, three projects that are out. And that is JP3, Pregnant with Success, Satisfaction Guaranteed. I love them all, but her most recent one is definitely my favorite. The songs that I really love by her are the I Love That Song Somebody and the new video. I just want it. I'm in love. What's that one she did with Wiki? Oh yeah, Ocean 4. Definitely check her out. So yeah guys, be sure to check out Cole Bulgarians and Jungle Pussy. I think y'all will really enjoy them. Let me know what you think. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Share the video, all of that. And thank you so much for y'all's support so far. I'll see y'all next time. <laughs>